Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, <clears throat> I want to talk about my lemon lime philodendrons. I think they are absolutely gorgeous plants and I suggest that if you find these anywhere to get them, even if they're just cuttings because they grow really, really quickly. Now this one here is <clears throat> the lemon lime uh, philodendron cordatum is her name and you can see she is really really beautiful and when she gets new leaves coming in they're kind of a coppery color and they are absolutely absolutely gorgeous you can see here on this one how it's kind of a coppery color and then the stems are kind of copper and then they turn into this beautiful lime green color and the brighter light you have them in the more of uh, a defining color that you have with this plant I mean it is just absolutely gorgeous it grows quickly um, the colors on it are amazing I love it more than I love the neon moved it a little bit closer so you guys can see it better um, but yeah this is an absolutely gorgeous plant now this plant I actually found in Walmart this summer um, it has doubled if not tripled in its size since I got it and it seems to be a really quick grower if you have it in the right light now I keep mine in a west window and I also have her under grow light so um, she grows really quickly and I don't really remember exactly what month I got it but it is a gorgeous gorgeous plant and I wanted to show you I want you to see how big these leaves get and over here look at this Look at the size of this leaf right here. It is <laughs> amazing. Now, I don't know if they're all going to get that big sooner or later, maybe, but you can see the different colors in this plant. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And now I have a neon pathos, and I wasn't too crazy about that plant. Um, when I first got it, I'm not really big on the neon. But when I saw the lemon lime, I just automatically fell in love with this neon, with this uh, lemon lime philodendron cardatum. It is just gorgeous. And then as far as this is the lemon lime upright, and it is absolutely gorgeous too. I love it. You cannot. go wrong with either one of these plants and this one does the exact same thing the new growth comes out more of the lemony color and then as it gets older it turns into the darker lime color and it is just gorgeous you can see new growth coming out here the stems on it are copper or red color it's really pretty now I I have one, two, three, four. I have four different plants in this pot. I ordered two, which were two of the small ones. And then a friend of mine sent me one. She sent me a couple off of her mother plant. And then another friend sent me this here big cutting. And I just love this plant. Um, I had looked for it for a, for a really long time, and I found some different names for it besides the lemon lime upright. It's also called a melee or a melee gold. Now I think the melee gold is a different plant altogether. I think it's more of a gold, uh, straight gold color all the way down the line. But I'm not sure. There, there's really conflicting information online, and I don't have a gold to compare it to in person so I really don't know if any of you guys have the gold philodendron upright 
let us know down in the comment section because I'd love to know. Um, but this again is a really, really beautiful plant. It's very easy to grow and it, they're just, they're beautiful. I love them. And um, as long as you're keeping them in bright enough light, the colors will, the colors will stay, I think. I've never had any issues with it. I'm assuming that maybe if you put it in a darker area, it may revert back to a dark green. I don't know that for sure. I'm just guessing. But um, they, are, they really are super easy to take care of. And um, the colors on them are just fantastic. Um, so you want to keep them in bright light. I let mine dry down about three quarters of the way down before I water them, especially this one. I treat it more, even though it is a philodendron, um, I treat it a little more like it's a pathos, letting her dry down a little bit. Um, and this one, I do just about the same. And as far as feeding, um, I feed all of my plants worm castings, and then they also get um, fish emulsion. Every time I water, I feed them a little bit. I put a little bit in my water. I make mine up by the gallon, and they get about a half a cap to a full cap full. Um, I fertilize all winter long. If your plants are growing they need to have food so I just recommend if you see this plant either one of them get them um, they're super easy to take care of they're really beautiful especially I have this one is next to my heartleaf philodendron and it just really pops all of the darker colors that you have in your plant collections and they are gorgeous um, even if you can only find cuttings, get them because they grow, they seem to grow really quickly, both of them. Uh, this one had a little bit, each one of these plants that I actually got from all of my friends, each one of them had a little bit of heat damage, um, because it took so long in the mail to get to me, but, um, it took them a little while to bounce back, but then once they did, um, they have just really taken off nicely. So, um, highly recommend both of these plants, especially if you're like me and you're not really much on the neon plants. Um, these are gorgeous. Now, I will admit, I do have a, a neon pathos, and it has grown on me more since I've got it. It is nice to look up and see it. Um, it's really pretty since it's gotten bigger, but I really prefer the one and lime um, philodendrons over the neons. So uh, that's it, guys. I just wanted to share these plants with you because I think they are just so, so gorgeous and very easy to grow. And um, like I said, if you have a chance, get some. So I am going to let you go for now. I will talk to you later. Bye. Peace.